SpaceX has consistently shown it's ready to meet this demand, but frustratingly, regulatory hurdles have started to stand in their way. The FAA and other agencies are slowing down the process, leading to delays that have caused growing concern among government officials. Recently, Texas Congressman Keith Self took action, sending a formal letter to the FAA. His message? SpaceX needs a clear path forward and fast. The significance of the Starship program cannot be overstated. It's not just another rocket. Starship represents the future of deep space exploration and is integral to NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return American astronauts to the moon. Beyond that, Starship holds the key to maintaining U.S. leadership in the global space race, especially as competitors like China move rapidly ahead with their own lunar ambitions. Congressman Self's letter emphasized just how crucial it is to speed up Starship launches. He called for an increase in launch frequency from 5 to 25 per year, specifically from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas. This increase is vital, not only for the development of super heavy lift rockets, but also for global mobility, logistics technology, and national security. SpaceX has already proven its ability to deliver. The company's workhorse Falcon rockets and Dragon spacecraft have revolutionized commercial spaceflight and set a new standard for the industry. Starship is the next evolution, and if SpaceX can move forward with a faster launch cadence, the potential benefits are enormous. But if the regulatory environment continues to slow them down, it's not just SpaceX that suffers. It's America's leadership in space. The congressman also highlighted another major concern, competition from China. As China accelerates its space program, including plans to land a crew on the moon and establish a lunar base, the U.S. cannot afford to lag behind. SpaceX is uniquely positioned to keep the U.S. at the forefront of space exploration. Its ability to rapidly iterate and launch gives America a critical edge, but that advantage could disappear if unnecessary regulations keep getting in the way. SpaceX's progress has been impressive, despite these roadblocks. Recently, Ship 31 and Booster 13 have moved through key testing phases, with both preparing for their wet dress rehearsals. These are the final steps before flight. At the same time, Ship 30 and Booster 12, which are intended for Flight 5, are also nearing readiness. All this activity points to one thing. SpaceX is doing everything in its power to keep the Starship program on track. But the FAA's stance has become a bottleneck. The agency has maintained that SpaceX can proceed with launches only if they follow the same process as before. This approach restricts SpaceX's ability to innovate and move quickly, and it's impacting not only Flight 5, but also the company's long-term plans. Congressman Self directly addressed these issues in his letter to FAA Administrator Michael Whitaker. He made it clear that the delays caused by the FAA's environmental review are unacceptable, especially when considering the importance of Starship to the nation's space leadership. Self argued that the U.S. regulatory system needs to be agile and efficient, capable of supporting rapid innovation in the commercial space sector. He pointed out that a cumbersome regulatory process puts the U.S. at risk of falling behind in the global space race. The congressman also expressed disappointment with how the FAA has handled false narratives from the media. These narratives have questioned the environmental impact of SpaceX's operations. Despite the FAA's own environmental assessment, which found that the proposed increase in launch cadence would not cause significant harm. Self called on the agency to prioritize facts over misinformation and focus on supporting American innovation. Interestingly, this isn't just a SpaceX issue. When you look at other companies like Blue Origin, a pattern begins to emerge. Blue Origin, which is also working on heavy lift rockets with its new Glenn program, has faced its own delays. Their debut mission has been pushed back, but Blue Origin is moving forward with ambitious plans to ramp up its launch cadence to 12 flights in 2025, 
and 24 in 2026, yet Blue Origin doesn't seem to be facing the same regulatory hurdles as SpaceX, this raises an important question. Is the FAA giving some companies an easier path while slowing down others? It's hard to ignore the timing of the FAA's recent delays for SpaceX. As Blue Origin's New Glenn program advances, the FAA has continued to hold up Starship launches. Could the FAA be trying to level the playing field by holding SpaceX back? If that's the case, it's a dangerous precedent that could stifle innovation and undermine America's space leadership. SpaceX, on the other hand, continues to push forward undeterred. Elon Musk himself responded to Congressman Self's letter with a brief but telling comment, much appreciated. Musk, like many others, sees the delays as a growing frustration that needs to be addressed. The stakes are incredibly high. The future of U.S. space dominance depends on the ability of companies like SpaceX to innovate and launch at a rapid pace. If regulatory agencies continue to slow them down, America could find itself losing ground not just to international competitors, but also within its own borders, as companies like Blue Origin get a regulatory pass. In the coming months, we'll see whether the FAA responds to Congressman Self's calls for action. The hope is that the agency will streamline its processes, allowing SpaceX to increase its launch cadence and fulfill its potential. After all, the future of space exploration is not just about building rockets. It's about ensuring the regulatory landscape enables companies to push boundaries and lead the way. America's position in space, both commercially and in terms of national security, may depend on these decisions. Whether the FAA steps up or continues to drag its feet will have lasting consequences for the entire space industry. The question now is, Will the FAA get out of the way and let them launch? Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.